The on-camera basics workshop allows Kennedy School students to undergo a mock interview scenario in which they are purported to play a role and they're interviewed in front of a television audience. Chris is a candidate for U.S. Senator. They have three, four minutes to get their important critical messages across. Right now there are 23 million open job applications in the United States. If we could fill all of those, our unemployment rate would drop by 2%. We stick to the script for the most part, but then we'll always throw in one or two questions that the students aren't anticipating. But recent criticism of affirmative action basically calls into question the goals of groups like yours. How do you respond to such criticism? Very good question. I'm very happy to answer that. The Latino community is faster than email, and it works by word of mouth. This was a new experience for me, because the previous times I've been interviewed, I had a person in front of me. And this time I didn't. I had this red dot. Yeah, at times I thought her, your eyes were a little bit, looking a little bit down and away from the camera. This is exactly one thing that we get so excited about because we realize that the public does not understand and that's one of the reasons why we're working so hard. I've had experience um, singing. You had asked me earlier, did the interview come naturally? I've gotten used to maybe performing but when it comes to being able to speak on something, that's, I think, more terrifying for most people. You want to be natural, but you want to come across, you know, that somehow you're talking to that red light as if it was uh, your grandmother. A lot of these students are experienced, but then translating those, inter those basic interview skills into on-camera interview skills is a little bit tricky. <laughs> Uh, this is harder than I thought. The mixture of having seasoned experience, people giving direct feedback coupled with that, that peer review was, was very dynamic and very helpful.